A subdued murmur filled the speakeasy, the type that signified the assurance of secrecy and the forgetting of inhibitions. Taylor, clad in an oversized sun hat and floppy hat, located a corner booth while her pulse raced erratically against her ribs. The curated pandemonium of fame and flashing cameras were not the focus of the evening. Tonight centered on Travis. A single sentence, enigmatic and playful, had been his earlier text to her, meet me at the blind owl. Appear in attire that will elude recognition. She was suddenly a curious stranger instead of the beloved pop icon she once was, her stomach churning at the thought of a covert rendezvous. The speakeasy fell silent abruptly. By cutting through the dimly lit room, a spotlight illuminated a figure on the small stage. Travis approached with a microphone firmly grasped and a mischievous grin capable of melting glaciers. Taylor was short of breath. The sleeves of his pristine white dress shirt were rolled up, which was in stark contrast to his typical football attire. Her true astonishment, however, was caused by the vulnerability in his gaze. As the initial chords of Shake It Off resonated in the atmosphere, they became emblematic of her personal odyssey through the maelstrom of fame. Conversely, tonight it felt otherwise. The lyrics underwent a transformation as Travis sang, his focus fixed on her and his voice transformed into a rich baritone. My girlfriend sometimes laughs at how outspoken my friends are, he sang with a light-hearted wink directed at her, evoking a surge of affection within her. Taylor developed tears in her eyes. He was cognizant of the fact that this composition, this anthem of self-acceptance, formed a fundamental aspect of her narrative. He was skillfully incorporating her own music into a personal love song as he serenaded her. As the final notes subsided, acclaim erupted throughout the room, primarily from unwitting patrons. Travis, who was completely oblivious to everything but Taylor, exited the stage with a sheepish expression. As he approached the cubicle, he knelt by her side. His tone was slightly tinged with anxiety as he inquired, did I butcher your masterpiece? Taylor embraced him and embraced him in her arms, submerging her face in his ample chest. Her cheeks were drenched in tears, a mixture of hilarity and unadulterated delight. That, she exclaimed with anguish in her voice, was the most exquisitely tender, absurdly cheesy, and flawlessly ideal thing that anyone has ever done for me. Travis chuckled and tightened his grip on her. Anything to see that beautiful smile, even for a second. Taylor, under the guise of anonymity and in the dimly illuminated speakeasy, knew she was not merely a pop star. Taylor, adored for who she truly was, was serenaded by a man who recognized the woman beneath the glitz with her own composition. She then recognized that that melody was considerably more delightful than any number one single. With subdued murmurs and the clinking of glasses, the speakeasy hummed. Taylor, clad in an oversized sunglasses and a floppy hat, surveyed the dimly lit room. As her heart raced against her ribcage, she felt a nervous rhythm. An illicit rendezvous with Travis, the very idea of which was about to generate a media frenzy, seemed exhilaratingly forbidden. A spotlight abruptly penetrated the haze, shedding light on a diminutive stage. There stood Travis, adorned in an incredibly attractive white button-down, who was carrying a guitar over his broad shoulders. Inducing a calm throughout the room, Travis cleared his throat. This next song, he began with an unexpectedly smooth voice, is dedicated to the most remarkable woman I know. Taylor was short of breath. As a profoundly personal reflection of her personal struggles with public scrutiny, the opening chords of Shake It Off reverberated throughout the room. Her eyes unexpectedly filled with tears. Travis embraced the song with all his emotions, his attention fixed on her concealed form. Taylor had never before encountered the effect that the unfiltered emotion in his voice had on the lyrics. Not merely a performance, but a proclamation, it entailed a pledge to remain by her side amidst the din. As the concluding notes diminished, applause erupted from the chamber. With tears glistening on her cheeks, Taylor rose from her seat and made her way to the stage, the audience separating in front of her in the direction of the Red Sea. She embraced Travis as she approached the stage, burying her face in his torso. She murmured, her voice filled with emotion, that was the most unexpected and ideal thing anyone has ever done for me. Travis chuckled and tightly grasped her in his arms. Tay, anything for you. You motivate me to shrug off everything, including the cameras and the critics. They remained there, embraced in the warm spotlight, 
The stolen moment served as evidence of how their love had transformed into an unexpected melody. Travis was not a football player and Taylor was not a music star in that dimly lit speakeasy. They were merely two souls united by a melody, an undisclosed truth, and an untold love story. The air was dense with the aroma of aged whiskey in desperation for a taste of something clandestine as the speakeasy bustled with a low murmur. Taylor, concealed by a fitted crimson scarf and a fedora lowered to the ground, experienced an intense surge of excitement. A concealed rendezvous with Travis in such a hidden gem was narrative gold. The mood of the music abruptly changed. The seamless jazz transitioned into the distinctive initial chords of Shake It Off. Taylor inhaled deeply. A frenzied rhythm was heard her heart striking against her ribs. This is not possibly coincidental. A shambled atmosphere was penetrated by a spotlight, which exposed a makeshift stage. Travis Kelsey, a vision clad in a pristine white button-down, materialized before us, his broad shoulders straining. He displayed a timid grin, which stood in striking contrast to his customary self-assured expression while participating in football. The microphone amplifies the anxious tremor in his voice as he clears his throat. This one is dedicated to the most remarkable woman I know, he initiated, his attention shifting across the room before it settled on her. His warm, slightly apprehensive eyes were fixed on hers. Taylor was overcome with a surge of emotion that threatened to overflow. Travis began the song with a voice that was unexpectedly resonant and excellent. The sincerity of his singing caused her to feel chills run down her spine. Each lyric and lighthearted dance move, albeit slightly clumsy, but undeniably endearing, conveyed a more profound significance. Not only did he perform the song, Shake It Off, but he also made a commitment to assist her in overcoming the perpetual scrutiny, media hysteria, and weight of her status as Taylor Swift. Her eyes filled with welling tears. He, an athlete of legendary caliber, was demonstrating himself in this manner for her. As the song concluded, the distant ovation became a roar in her ears. However, what truly stood out was the affection that emanated from Travis's smile as he descended from the stage. Present at her table was a solitary red rose when he reappeared. May I? He inquired, gruff in tone, as he extracted the chair adjacent to her. Still overcome with emotion, Taylor merely nodded. She whispered, you ought not have, as his contact ignited sparks across her skin as he grasped her hand. With each tear that escaped in a gleaming path down her cheek, her voice sank. Travis removed it with his thumb while his expression was tender. However, I did, he murmured gently. Because you deserve all the happiness in the world, even if it means shaking things off a bit. Taylor, enveloped by the warmth of his hand in hers and the reverberation of her own song within that dimly illuminated speakeasy, realized she had discovered something extraordinary, something she would not have to shake off. It was a love narrative composed of serenades and stolen moments, whose melody was understood only by the two of them. The twinkle of the fairy lights adorning the rooftop resembled a constellation that Taylor herself might have inspired a song about. Beneath them, a mesmerizing fabric of honky-tonk neon and the reassuring murmur of her birthplace, Nashville stretched out before them. However, it was not the view that caused a tear to dance on her cheek. Travis, who was typically a beacon of exuberant assurance while playing football, positioned himself precariously on a barstool across the table, his guitar clumsily fastened to his torso. With concentration, he arched his brow, a sheepish grimace tugging at the corners of his mouth. Okay, he said, his voice unexpectedly profound for an individual who ordinarily yells over the din of a stadium. This one's for you, T. Taylor was startled by the initial strum of the instrument. Taylor might not have been accustomed to the opulent acoustics, but the sincerity in Travis's voice as he launched into the opening chords of Shake It Off quickly dispelled any concerns. He had imperfections. A few notes were omitted, certain lyrics were mispronounced and his voice deteriorated during the high notes. Taylor was enveloped in a fresh surge of warmth with each errant chord. A serenade was performed in her presence, a secret being murmured exclusively for her. He was attempting to make her smile despite his anxiety and lack of experience, so he was frantically shaking it off. She smiled as well. With genuine tears in her eyes, she wore a broad grin. Recollections abounding, the media scrutinizing award shows and splashing failed relationships across headlines. 
she had devoted her professional life to overcoming